Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we will do the first look on the menu element inside the green light blocks. So let's dive in. So let's add it first. It's navigation element. As you see, it's not hard coded block. It's a preset of different blocks and different elements. And this means that you have access to absolutely every detail, absolutely every element, logic, uh, accessibility. So you can change it as you want, or you can use our the preset to build it more faster. The only requirement is to keep uh, some special uh, classes on the menu elements. To add new items in this menu, you have the several choices. First of all, you can simply copy or duplicate the menu items. It's uh, the most easiest way, so just duplicate it. Or you can delete them. You can also change the place. Second uh, choice is when you select the menu parent element or navigation element. You can find this menu settings and you can add uh, several type of menus. The first one is simple menu item, it's just the link, nothing else. So I will remove it. Second one is item with submenu. When you add it, you will see that we have also submenu and uh, you can also add uh, unlimited levels of submenu. For this, you need to select the submenu item and you can add sub submenu like this. Now, if you see, we have several levels of menu. How to add uh, menu items in drop down? For this, you can simply duplicate it. I will do this. I'm duplicating them. And then I can uh, change the links or what I want to have. But also you may see that it's uh, not practically to add them uh, inside editor because when you uh, change the position of mouse it loses the focus. And for this reason we have a special feature. You can activate submenu. Now you can more easily change the submenu items and by the way it's not important to add uh, the same submenu items uh, you can add practically everything inside the menu and this is the power of this block uh, because it, uh, it's not hard coded you can add anything for example I can add even images when you finish your drop down menus, don't forget to deactivate it because it will, it will be always opened on the front end if you keep it active. But uh, sometimes it's uh, even uh, better. Maybe you want to have the submenu items to be always opened uh, for some uh, reason, for some complex designs. So I just deactivate it now. The next feature is uh, position of the drop-down menu. By default, it will be added in the, from the left to the right. But if you have the last menu item in the container, you may want to have the position to be on the left. In this way, it will not overflow the container. Therefore, for this reason, you have a special button. Make submenu from the right side. You will see that extra class will be added. So it's now it's positioned from the left, from the right to the left. But uh, we need also to change the submenus. For this, I click on the submenu and do the same. Make submenu from the right side. And now you will see that position will be on the left. Let's talk now about the design of the menus. Uh, when you want to change the design of uh, all items, it's more practically to select the menu and you will see here the class, special uh, local class. 
This class uh, is uh, controller of all uh, submenu items, but uh, I don't recommend to change this, uh, these styles uh, because it's important to, to keep them, but uh, you may want to change only a few, few selectors, for example, these top level items. Is this uh, one is um, responsible for these top level items. Yeah. So I I can, for example, change the font size or background, maybe color, colors. Okay, the same will be about the submenu level. This one uh, you see inside the drop down. I can change the same. I can change the paddings, margins, uh, and so on. But also, if you want to change a specific item, just simply select it, and then you can style here. Uh, you see that uh, some local styles uh, can't override the gro global styles. And for this reason, you need to simply click on this icon. And this will give uh, the local style more priority over the global styles. Let's talk now about mobile panels. And it's made with a sliding panel feature of green light, and um, it's also not the hard coded block, so you can change them. And for this, select the navigation element and click on Show Mobile Panel. Now you'll see uh, how it will look, but on the front end, it will uh, take the whole space. So um, you can also change here the animation by default it's clipped down but uh, you can select uh, anything other like this one maybe like this one and you can change also background uh, links and and so on uh, but let's uh, dive inside inside the sliding panel you will see two areas it's top area and bottom area so if you want to add something like uh, static blocks that will work always uh, on the bottom you can simply uh, add it here so for example i just add um, link element it will be something like button i can enable uh, button presets I can also change the, uh, the layout, for example, inside the bottom area, I will uh, enable flexible in the layout. So the same will be for top area, it, uh, it will be also the static, but let's um, discuss uh, the sliding area. Sliding area will copy the menu from the desktop and put them inside uh, this place. If you don't want to copy the desktop menu inside the mobile panel, you can simply remove this area and that's all. You can make uh, custom uh, mobile menus uh, and that will be different from the desktop menu. Sometimes it will be very helpful. Also, we have here a back button. Uh, you can style this button and this button has special uh, class uh, you can see here now back trigger copy and this means that it will be copied inside uh, each uh, sub level of menu but let's see how it work on the front end now i will uh, reduce the window okay now when you click on here you will see that we have back button so if I change here this back button, for example, I will change the color like this. So 
now you see that uh, it will be always copied to each sub level also you can change the animation inside um, this area for example here we have animation uh, that will um, have the stager it means that uh, menu items will uh, pop up um, each after other and if you want you can simply remove the, uh, this animation or change this um, for example I will enable clip left now let's hide our mobile panel and uh, we can see uh, our trigger uh, this trigger button it's uh, another static block with some design for uh, these cross lines but it's uh, not uh, important to keep it uh, in this structure for example we can put a sliding uh, panel trigger uh, absolutely in any place of your head or, or the page uh, we need to keep only special uh, IDs for example on the sliding panel you will see that we have an uh, anchor uh, this ID and on side on our sliding panel trigger inside the dynamic attributes we also have the same panel ID and the copy ID uh, here we have the class of our menu it will be copied inside the sliding panel for example if I check here you see that I have this class and the same class will be on the dynamic attributes also we have here two extra um, attribute it's a copy top ID and copy bottom ID if you see uh, on the sliding panel we have here and top static section and bottom static section and if you put uh, in this place uh, some selector from the page uh, it will be copied uh, inside uh, these areas uh, in this way uh, you can uh, just copy some uh, buttons or elements from your header desktop and it will be copied uh, automatically on this uh, sliding panel so you don't need to uh, duplicate them and put them in this place so it's just a helpful feature for you and the last option that i want to show you is mega menu for this i will add a mega menu container now i want to enable it so I also will do this from the right side but if you want to make it more wider and I think uh, you want to make it more wider you can do this uh, for example here in size and the last type of uh, mega menu it's full width mega menu difference from the regular mega menu is that uh, this type will take the full width of menu container so you see here it's full width now you can add anything inside for example you can add also some kind of uh, templates we have several templates you can find them in the sections for example you can find them here I will just import them and they will be placed uh, uh, here so you just need to put this menu inside your mega menu container as you see you have here the spacing but you can uh, disable the spacing Thank you for this time and see you in next video.